Hey guys, so today we are working on our 100 days of school t-shirts and I thought it would be fun to film them to maybe give you some ideas if you have kids and they have to do the t-shirt thing. We also have to send in a baggie of 100 items. So I found these 100 water balloons, they were a dollar. We're just gonna send those in for one project. Basically there's several different projects where my older child and my younger child just have to do the t-shirt. So if you need a baggie idea, um, you know, 100 balloons, they've got 100 pom-poms, you can go get googly eyes, all these things were a dollar. Um, you can send in stickers, really just, you know, just think about it, walk through all the aisles and just look for something that says 100. But what I wanted to do on my youngest son's shirt was a 100 piece puzzle, but he doesn't want to do that because he doesn't want this puzzle. So that's a really cute idea, very unique. If you want to be a little bit different, um, find a 100 piece puzzle and glue it to their shirt. Um, I'm gonna use E6000 or you can use a fabric glue. Um, and we're just using old shirts that I am not worried about keeping. They're gonna go obviously get tossed in the end of this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the preschoolers t-shirt and I will just do a voiceover or music um, as we get started. So for this t-shirt, I'm gonna start by writing the phrase, I've bugged my teachers for 100 days. Now you can personalize this with the teacher's name if you want. However, my son is in preschool, so he's got several different teachers, and I wanna start by writing the phrase out, so that way I have enough room. This is a 4 t shirt, so I have to fit a lot on here, <laughs> and it's just easier if I write it out first. I went ahead and let my preschooler lay out the pom-poms where he wanted them. I did have to adjust them a little bit because he was clumping them together quite a bit and putting them in the armpit area, which we don't want. But I just took a little bit of E6000, put it on the bottom of the pom-pom and pushed it into the shirt. Make sure you do have a piece of cardboard in between your shirt so the E6000 is not seeping through and gluing your shirt shut. <laughs> That's not something you want. I also grabbed googly eyes and put a few googly eyes on a couple of the bugs. Some bugs have two eyes, some only have one, but I didn't want to sit here and do every single bug. You can do that if you want, but I have two shirts to make, so that's the last thing I wanted to sit here and do. Then I started to add little legs with a Sharpie marker. You can use a fabric marker. I mean, if you use fabric marker, thread, glue, you know, make this permanent, more power to you. but. I don't plan on keeping this. Then I let him add little buggy details with some glitter glue. For my older boy's shirt, he wanted some sort of outer space theme and I did not trust myself to draw a rocket. So <laughs> I compromised and we made an alien. <laughs> we were gonna do 100 stars and a rocket, but yeah. I just, I don't have the best artistic abilities and I did not want that to go south. So we made a hundred eye alien and you can just see that I'm drawing everything on again with a permanent marker. You can use fabric marker if you want to, completely up to you. I just use what I have. And then I just take the same thing, E6000 and put on a hundred of these eyes. I highly suggest that you use large eyes. It's gonna make gluing a lot easier, but unfortunately my Dollar General only had these little baby eyes, but if you can get your hands on 100 of the bigger eyes, it's gonna make gluing a lot easier. But now I'm just adding the mouth portion and then I'm going to add some legs. I then took some glitter glue and you'll see my son come in and I had him kind of glitter the rest of his alien however he wanted it, 
I was trying to make sure he did not put his hand in the part that I already did. Um, but yeah, he just, he designed the rest of it himself, put the glitter glue wherever he wanted it, asked me to put the glitter glue where he wanted it, and that's kind of what he came up with. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of any cute little phrases to put on my son's shirt. With the rocket and the stars, I was going to do something like shooting through 100 days or, you know, I don't know, something to do with the word star. But unfortunately, because this is an alien shirt, I really couldn't come up with any cute phrases. So I just wrote happy 100 days on here. And here is my oldest shirt completed and again that's just glitter glue it works great and then you will see my preschoolers 100 day bug shirt I hope that inspires you and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below bye guys